Hello guys and welcome to the first video on the Row Builder YouTube channel. Today I'd like to take the time and go over 5 tips that'll help you improve your maps to make them look a bit more full and just more unique to your style. The concept I have on the screen right here is basically from a video made by, I think their name is Vades? I'll have a little picture popping up on screen right here. This is what I'm talking about and it's a very popular low poly Roblox building tutorial and it kind of made a lot of people make maps that are just like this and uh, I mean this is a very simplified version by every mean but just like this and not really much variation to them at all so I'm gonna go ahead and make this platform just a bit bigger because I mean obviously every map is gonna have a good like focal point so we'll just make that a little bit bigger right here and that will be all right and we will go ahead and duplicate these to the other side just to make the map a little you know playable because right now it's not really anything much i'll go ahead and move this down a little bit and uh make that a bit bigger as well just to kind of fill in the gap right here so there we go we kind of have a little something i'll move that down a little more sorry <laughs> we have a little bit of something kind of like how their tutorial was recommending you build and i see a lot of people do this and then just and then just slap a tree on there and call it good you know they'll put a tree right here put another one over here and uh that's really it you know they put a couple trees around their map and they think it's all done but i do want to give you guys these five tips to you know make your maps just more Mm, you know more explorative and everything like that the first thing that i would recommend is adding grass now you could either do this with a mesh part like this just like whip up a little bit of grass in blender import your mesh just like that if you would like a tutorial on how to do this uh i got you just drop a like on the video all right so you could do this and add them around the map you could even clump them together something kind of like this to give a nice grass patch i think it looks pretty good and if you wanted to go the extra mile you could even click on each of these and rotate all of them in a slightly different direction simply because perfection does not mean or, or i guess symmetry we'll say symmetry does not mean it's the greatest roblox map but there's this option but the better option in my opinion is the real terrain grass now a lot of people are like hey dude how do you do that with a low poly build i don't want to use like the real terrain look so what i would recommend doing is just inserting a part going up making this as big as your terrain uh i mean give or take a little bit you know because you do have the edges you have to worry about i'll do it right here and you want to go ahead and put this part underneath your terrain, okay? Quite a bit under, probably like this. Hopefully that'll be big enough. If not, we can always move the terrain up a little bit. But I'm going to go to this plugin called Part 2 Terrain, which is right here by Fasty48. And I'm going to go ahead and click Grass. Now I just got to click on the part that I want. This does not work on meshes though, guys. So make sure you are using a part from Studio. But now that is Grass. And I just have to go over to the terrain properties perfect and click decoration what this is going to do is add grass just like that and i can go ahead and move these parts up just a little bit like so now we have roblox grass on our low poly map now when you have a low poly map it's usually brighter colors more cartoony vibes so i would recommend going into the terrain and then you can open up oh, let me close this then you can open up the material and if you guys didn't know this you can actually change every material within the game i didn't know this when i first started using terrain and my bro taught it to me and i was absolutely astounded so i would definitely recommend going to the grass and changing it just to a much brighter color because once again low poly we're looking for those cartoony vibes and look at this gives so much more life to your map just by this one little trick up next and this is a trick celestial dev taught me basically if you have trees all right i would highly recommend duplicating your tree and then making the second one a little bit smaller than the first one this just makes maps look so much more full for no reason and no effort at all doing like this it doesn't look the best with pine trees but that's kind of what i'm using as my example today so you just put one small one next to one big one and it definitely makes the map look a lot more full if your trees do have variation and they're not symmetrical on every side kind of like these as you can see there's a little tip to them like this i would definitely recommend rotating one of them just so it does not look as copy and pasted the next thing i could really recommend to you guys especially if you don't want to do grass or these and oh by the way one more tip with these do not place them everywhere guys do not place these like so many to cover up as much as like this would cover up these are more just like a decorative thing to kind of place around the map 
But my next thing would definitely be adding textures, especially if you're using a part map, like you're not really building meshes for the um, terrain, and you're going more like this and building paths on top of your map, I would definitely recommend using a texture. So to use a texture, basically click on the part, then right click and insert object. Then you want to go ahead and click on texture. A very popular texture amongst like simulator games and like low poly games is just the checkerboard. So you can go ahead and get a normal checkerboard off Google and place it on. As you can see, this is kind of uh, very hard on your eyes. So I would recommend setting both of these to five to 10, usually five for me. There we go. And we can always spawn in a player as well to see like how they are scaled versus the player. So here's this. And I would say for this build, five is a bit too small. So let's move this up to 10. Perfect. Now, a lot of you guys might be saying, hey, dude, that is ugly. <laughs> Basically, why would we want a white and black ground? Go ahead and change your ground to the color you want. Bright green is usually what I use for simulator maps. Then go to your texture and go to its transparency like all the way up to like 0.9 or even 0.95 for this one. What you want the texture to do is not be as much of an eyesore. You want it to just be there you know it doesn't need to be even that noticeable i'm pretty sure i have it at 0.95 transparency which is almost all the way up but it looks fantastic as you guys can see up next uh adding rocks i <laughs> i know it's a very simple thing but i see so many people just forgetting to add these now if you don't know how to build a rock it's very very simple you could even take one of your terrain pieces copy and paste it and make it a lot smaller and then just color it as a rock. Um, it's not the hardest thing to do. And once again, you're gonna wanna make sure you have variation with rock sizes, colors, and rotations. So what I'm gonna do here is kind of place some rocks like this and make the bigger one. We'll keep it the same color and change it in here, just one tone lighter. What that's gonna do is just give a very nice variation to it. And we are gonna copy and paste these just like that and bring them over here. Another thing we're gonna wanna do is just change the size. It can be bigger or smaller. You just want to make sure you're not copy and pasting and not changing anything about it because it does get very repetitive and players are not going to want to explore your map. Another thing I see players do, especially when they have just like a part map like this, um, they just kind of use one rock. Let me show you what I mean. All right, guys. So I know this isn't the prettiest rock right here, or the prettiest thing, but a lot of simulators, especially the ones that are thrown together, they kind of grab one rock, one mesh, and they just copy and paste it like this. And it really doesn't look that great. Um, some players or some devs will actually go ahead and do like a little bit and make them like very kind of like this. Still not that great. Make sure you are just doing everything you can so things do not look as copy and paste. You want some higher, some lower, stuff like that. And the last thing, especially if you're using a part for terrain, make sure you are varying the actual floor players play on, not just with flat paths. I would highly recommend taking some of your terrain that you meshed with and bringing it throughout your map kind of as little hills like this. Like this around your map, it gives players just more to do. They can climb stuff, they can look around. You could put stuff behind these. You know, you can make a way bigger one even like this and put like a door on it. Just make sure your map is not flat and all they can see is a wall of rocks. It's kind of a big turnoff for a lot of players. All right, guys, that will conclude our five building tips for today. We basically went from a platform with a tree to variated platform heights and a scene kind of like this. I would say that this looks so much better. It has more life. Using Roblox grass is definitely better than using the parts, the mesh parts, unless you're going for a certain aesthetic, but I would highly recommend trying out this trick. I use it all the time, but that is gonna wrap up the first video. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Later.